This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 1st of March. A year ago, we had snow amounts of 2 to 5 inches, and by golly, it looks like parts of Alabama will see snow late tonight and tomorrow. These early March snows, back to back. Uh, let's take a look and talk about it. First off, uh, where we are this afternoon, it's mostly cloudy. Uh, temperatures are mostly in the 50s. That is the view coming from uh, Birmingham, the top of the Daniel Building, looking back off to the southeast. To the west, there's the Tuscaloosa Sky Cam. That's looking north from the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. It's cloudy there. And way off to the west, that's a Sky Cam over in Greenwood, Mississippi, in the Delta region of Mississippi, and some light rain beginning to fall there. And we will see some light rain as this whole thing starts up later tonight. Temperatures are mostly in the 50s. Birmingham at 57, Tuscaloosa 54, Anniston 55. We've got 40s to the north and west where the clouds are thicker. And again, surface temperatures don't mean that much to us when we're forecasting snow. Of course, it does in the overall scheme of things when you're talking accumulation and things like that. But again, we like to see uh, temperatures up there in the two, three, four, five thousand 5,000 foot range especially. Here's a look at our precipitation mass with this uh, developing storm. You can see a pretty large mass of rain over <coughs> Mississippi and uh, Louisiana extending back into uh, Texas. And there's the surface low developing about right on time and in the right place uh, south of Lake Charles, 1,006 millibars. That will be strengthening and moving east-northeast. Should be on the uh, coast of Florida near Apalachicola uh, by this time tomorrow. And there's a look at the uh, upper level uh, situation. This is at 500 millibars. And again, I'm mainly looking for temperatures out there. And it uh, looks like the uh, coldest core is 24 below zero Celsius. And that's a little colder than forecast by the models. And understand some of that cold air will be produced down to the surface uh, with dynamic cooling. So uh, that's one of the factors we have to consider when it comes to forecasting snow with this thing. Now, this map, the watch warning map, uh, is of this moment does not reflect a lot of the advisories that are going up. Uh, this one was just posted by the Weather Service in Atlanta. That is a winter storm warning. Uh, that does include the Atlanta metropolitan area or most of the Atlanta metro area. And even below that, there's a winter weather advisory, but that's where the Weather Service in Atlanta figures there could be one to three inches of snow. But let's get right to it. Let me just show you the uh, uh, GFS. This is at 6 a.m. tomorrow. And you can see that uh, very cold core upper low digging through here. And again, that dynamic cooling underneath the cold core concerns us a bit. Now, I'll just tell you right now, this forecast is fraught with danger. There's a lot of things that can go wrong here. So the confidence is not all that high. Uh, but there's a look at uh, 6 o'clock tomorrow morning off the GFS. The surface low is near Panama City. Uh, the freeze line at uh, 850. That's about four to 5,000 feet up is running from near Anniston down to uh, Clanton and Mobile. And then at uh, noon tomorrow, uh, the uh, cooling continues. The freeze line drops farther to the south at 850. And again, that could be some pretty decent snow falling tomorrow morning over East Alabama in North Georgia. That darker green, that's where we're kind of targeting the uh, main band of snow. And then at 6 o'clock, the whole thing winds down to just flurries here as the surface low uh, deepens off the Atlantic coast east of Charleston. Uh, give you a quick peek at the uh, NAM snow projection. You can see it's got the bullseye along Interstate 20, basically from Atlanta or from Anniston over to Atlanta. Uh, there's a look at the GFS, very similar. The placement is a little farther north. One way or the other, both those models suggest Cleburne County might be a bullseye. Heflin and Fruithurst and places like that over near the Georgia line. And let me just show you the snow uh, projection that we are looking at here. Uh, we put this up on the blog early this afternoon. Uh, and again, we're projecting one to three inches for East Alabama and much of North Georgia. Uh, this would include Anniston, Gadsden, Roanoke, Ashland, Lineville, uh, Wadawi, Talladega, the far eastern part of Birmingham, like with Moody and places like that. And understand, come on now, we all know, you know, that the snow accumulation is not going to change on those lines. But this is just an approximate uh, guide for those in emergency planning and everything else that need to know this. Uh, we're talking potential for a trace to one inch. Again, that's just a dusting or one inch mainly on grassy areas for uh, uh, the Birmingham Metro, for Huntsville, uh, Smith Lake, even as far south as Montgomery. And I can almost guarantee you we might have to change this as this thing begins to unfold. It's going to depend on a convective snow band setting up on the top of this uh, low and where that thing winds up 
will be hard to tell. And I'll say this, I do think within that one to three inch box, we're going to see some little spots that are going to get more than that. It's going to come down pretty fast. I think the roads pretty much will be okay. They'll just be wet. Uh, even the bridges should not have any icing problems initially because the uh, temperature should be above freezing tomorrow. I don't think it'll be a big problem with travel, but uh, it should come down very heavy underneath that uh, uh, axis that sets up on the northern fringe of this thing, and that could make the grass awfully white in a hurry. So, again, that's where we stand now. And, again, just be aware that could change. The confidence level is not all that high. Now, Wednesday, it's all gone. Uh, cold air advection, uh, just gradual clearing. It might be cloudy much of the day. It looks like the core of the surface load just missing those big East Coast cities. And don't you know they are thankful for that. Thursday, cold and dry. Still got some cold air advection going on. But Friday, we should begin to moderate. Uh, we should be up in the 50s. And then Saturday, kicking off the weekend, that should be a nice day. Sunny with a high in the middle 60s. And Sunday, by golly, we could be flirting with 70. Doesn't that sound good? Tremendous. Monday of next week, uh-oh, look at the storm coming out of the Rockies. 1,000 millibar lows sitting up there around Gage, Oklahoma. And then uh, a week from tomorrow, Tuesday the 9th, this is the short wave we call Dolly. The one coming in is called Clarence. This is called Dolly. Not that it means anything. We just made that up. But uh, there's a look at a surface load located north of us. And, again, that could bring uh, severe weather, strong storms, heavy rain. We don't know yet, obviously. That's out there beyond seven days. But the uh, modeling has been very consistent in that idea. And out there in mid-month, we've seen it all. I mean, you know, uh, th this run all of a sudden has a trough to the west, and that's a severe weather kind of looking deal where uh, other runs have shown it awfully cold at mid-month. Uh, I think the colder idea might be correct, but again, we'll work on that as it gets closer. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by uh, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.